Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can go back from Windows 11 to Windows 10. Let's suppose that you are not happy with Windows 11, the performance is not as you expected, so you want to go back to Windows 10. If you have just upgraded your Windows 10 to Windows 11, you have a 10 days possibility to go back very easy to Windows 10 and I can show you the steps how you can do that. So we go at search and we type here settings. So we search for settings and once you see the app settings, you just click over it in order to open. Then from the options on the left, you need to click over system. And then you need to scroll down till you find the option recovery. We click over it. And then over here, we have the possibility to go back. But in my case, I have more than three months that I have upgraded my computer to Windows 11. And this possibility to go back doesn't work in this case. I can just go back to a previous version of Windows 11, but I cannot go back to Windows 10 because it has more than 10 days since I have installed Windows 11 on this computer. If you have less than 10 days since you have upgraded to Windows 11, you just have to click over go back and then you will be able to go back to previous Windows, which in this case is going to be Windows 10 without deleting any file that you have in your computer. The next option that you have in order to go back to Windows 10 is by downloading the Windows 10 ISO file. And in order to do that, we need to go over microsoft.com. I'll put the link on the description below so you can come directly on this page where you can download Windows 10. And once you are here, you need to click over download now. And we are gonna download the installation media or as it is known, media creation tool. And we are gonna use this tool in order to go back to Windows 10. Another information that you may need to know is that the license that you have on Windows 11 will work normally also in Windows 10, especially if you have upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So getting a few things ready, so I have started Windows 10 setup. I'll walk you through all the steps that you need to do in order to go back to Windows 10. So here we are. Now I have to accept the license agreement. So we just have to click over accept. This process will take you some time because you have to download the setup of Windows 10 and some updates that are necessary in order to go back to Windows 10. Now we have this question. What do you want to do? Do you want to upgrade this PC now, even that it's somehow downgrade to Windows 10? And the other option is to create installation media for another PC. In our case, we want to upgrade this PC now. So we click over upgrade this PC now and then we click over next. Again, we're gonna see this view, which is telling you getting a few things ready. We have to wait because now it is downloading the setup file. And if we can see the progress has started, which is right now 2%. But meanwhile, the good thing is that we can continue to use our PC till this progress will reach the level 100%. So now we have to accept the license terms and we do that by just clicking over here, accept, choose what to keep. So now will show us the possibilities. Unfortunately, the only way how we can downgrade in this case is by removing the files that you have on your computer to an external drive and then you install Windows 10. So unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't give us the chance to keep the personal files and apps by default, but we have a solution about that. So at least the files, we can save them. So we just can copy them and put them on external drive. For example, let's say that I want to save this folder that I have on my desktop. So I copy them and then I go on the external drive. It can be also the other volume, but not C because on C, you are going to install the Windows 10. So you can put it on the other drive, which in this case is the volume G for me. And you just come over here and you copy the files that you want to save. And once you have done all this, then you can go over here and then you select nothing, which means that your files and applications will get removed from your computer. But 
The only way how can save that is just by backing up in an external drive and then you put them back once again once your Windows 10 is installed on your computer. So by default I just have the possibility to choose nothing and then I click over next and then it will ask you do you want to continue using this selection then you select yes. Now it will show this other view, which will tell you getting updates. So it's checking for updates, etc., etc. So we have to wait till the updates are 100%. Now we are in this phase of installing Windows 10, which is saying making sure you are ready to install. This step also will take some minutes, so we have to wait. So here we are, ready to install. You won't be able to use your PC while Windows install. Save and close your files before you begin. To recap, we have chosen install Windows 10 Pro and unfortunately we will not keep the softwares and the files, but for the files we have already made a backup of them. So let's click install and let's start the installation of Windows 10 on my computer. The process of installing Windows 10 will take some time and it will take some restarts, but basically that's all that you have to do in order to downgrade Windows 11 to Windows 10. I know that this is not the best way because you have to uninstall your apps, but unfortunately this is the only way that you can do if you have waited longer than 10 days after you have upgraded your Windows to Windows 11. That's all that I want to show to you guys. I hope you liked this video and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.